that because it's such a big panel right? actually there is a crack a crack in the middle so what they're going to do is to replace this pen right Place a new panel here. Okay. We're going to change this panel here. Uh, my concern is after changing this panel, will the green match? Right? Because this is one piece of uh, laminate. So whether green will match. So I've instructed him to make sure that they match right, this two panel here. So if you look closely, there's this groove okay, here, here. It's for the glass insert. Okay, so there's another panel of glass here. All right, just to lock up this gap. And uh, this sliding glass though, is quite interesting. So when you open up this panel, this panel will also slide open. When you close, the same yeah some screeching sound but you just need to put some grease on top See, this is the this is the back part of the starting glass door All right so basically it works as like a belt right? it's a rubber belt so when you Open one door, right, the other door will open as well because of the belt, they are all connected. Okay. Okay. You can see here, close. Over here, there's, there'll be another helmet just to cover up the unsightly belts and all the um, hinges okay, for the glass door. Okay, here, um, as mentioned in my previous video, right, this part here will be the shoe cabinet and storage. Okay, followed by TV wall feature and uh, old TV console. Here you can see that the TV wall feature, there are three panels, right, three laminated panels. Why three panels? Because a piece of laminate, right, the width is 1.2 meter okay so this is about a 2 meter right uh, slightly lesser so in order to make three equal size my carpenter will have to trim a little bit and then make them equal sizes it's a very nice uh, I mean, it feels like a very nice stone okay looks very natural okay my carpenter is uh, Installing the three custom doors for the bedroom. You see that everything is flush and nice. Okay. The lever design and the lever handle will be somewhere here. Same for the same for the common bedroom. So it will be somewhere here. Over here is the dresser, the full high mirror, right, all the way to the to the ceiling. It's a beam wardrobe, and you can see that there's a, like a divider, right, dividing the walking wardrobe and the sleeping area. So this is the headboard area. So you can see the bare ply right now. Uh, we are just waiting for the cushion headboard 
right, the fabric finish right, to be installed on this on the plywood backing. Uh, so the design of this headboard has got a niche in the middle with a um, LED strip light at the bottom here. So that we are trunking like all the way. Okay, the niche stretches quite a good distance all the way here. So where to hide the driver of the LED strip? Okay. At this side here, right, I'll do a, like a small little panel. Okay, so the driver will be hidden inside and then connecting up to the LED strip all the way. Yeah. There's a little magnet here. So it'll be like tight. Okay, just to explain the design intent of this uh, feature headboard. You can see that the top panel right, has got uh, a slight 15mm thicker than the center panel and then there's another 15mm step down to the lower panel. So it's like a step up right instead of just a plain instead of just a plain uh, feature headboard. So outside the master bathroom, there will be a feature wall here, feature wall here and then a sliding door that slides inside the feature wall. Okay, so just want you to take note that if you have a clothes hanger, uh, motorized clothes hanger. So make sure that you have uh, some clearance for your kitchen cabinet. Right? If you have a full height cabinet or you have a top cabinet like that, make sure that there's some clearance. Right? So you can see the hole there, the gap, is actually a fixed panel which is uh, removable because inside there's some pipings. So this door can be open and on, on, of course the the bigger door below right, to access the pipes. This is the location of the fridge. So if you realize there's no power point for the fridge. Okay, so what I'll do is normally I'll make a grommet hole here and the plug will just uh, insert into the cabinet and the power point will be inside the cabinet. Okay. So you make the wall here neat and nice. In front is the feature wall for the storeroom. So you might wonder where's the door. Right, so see the design here is like all like diamond shape. Right, it's to purposely conceal the storeroom door in this way. That so this is the window cut up. So this one allows um, some light to pass into the kitchen instead of uh, all concealing it. The kitchen cut up glass insert. It's a 10 mm glass. There's a roof here and here. You can see the glass panel. Okay, purposely designed, a bit slanted down. So the design matches with the diamond shape here. Okay, so glass, this is the study area behind. Okay, so this glass panel is going to be finished with this uh, reflective firm. Okay, so it's going to be pasted from the inside out. So when 
when it's done on the outside right it will look like a piece of mirror here and yet anyone from inside the room can still see through okay on the ceiling i've proposed this uh, led down light which is the slimmer one which has got like five um, bulb inside okay very slick and bright the design of this light fitting is that um, when you view from certain angle okay the the light is not too reflective or not too glaring okay um, because the bulb right they are all hidden inside the light fitting I'm now at the master bedroom so I've designed the feature headboard all the way and then a dividing glass panel to divide the wardrobe area and the sleeping area okay so I've done a two side table there with a fabric headboard okay, so the bed is going to be here all right so nice comfortable fabric headboard okay, there, there used to be a pillar here or a column so it's being sealed up by this uh, black glass panel and this black glass panel black um, continues with the this display niche all the way straight yeah this this is the part where I'm gonna install the LED strip okay, all the way there right and this part here is where right the pop up there where you keep the driver okay driver is inside here but of course you don't assess it actually you don't need to assess it actually okay unless something goes wrong Okay, in front of here is the dressing mirror so mirror full height all the way to the ceiling down dresser table power point below right this side here is the wardrobe four doors wardrobe and a full height mirror here as well to enhance the space and make it brighter okay this one is the divider i'm using tinted black glass so that it conceals the wardrobe behind a little bit of uh, design here simple wood street okay. okay let's take a look at the master bathroom all the tiles have been laid cabinets uh, carpentry works all up Quartz top. Okay, it's a mirror cabinet with uh, some lights built in below. There's also this open display shelf. Okay, the there be one glass shelf here and then one here. All right for some simple display inside the bathroom. There's a little cubby hole there for the homeowner to. Uh, put their laundry basket okay on top there okay this box up here where right, is uh, it was a uh, last minute added on just to push up the lights okay so this one will be painted white okay as mentioned before okay this uh is the common bathroom entrance you can see that the uh, Depth here is very shallow, so you can't do a standard depth uh, for the vanity cabinet. So what you can see here is it's a diagonal um, vanity cabinet, and then purposely bought a round basin so that when you walk in, right, you don't feel anything that is too protruding out here. Okay, so the corner here and here. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's actually almost like a 45 degree. Can see, right? Okay. 
So for this common bathroom, right, there's a box up. The box up all the pipes as well. The shower area with a little niche inside for shampoo. Take a look here. The shower mixer. The pipes are all concealed inside the box up here. So it goes up here. Right, it's a shower head. Here the view from inside the common bathroom. So this is a, a pair of uh, PD door. So you can just slide and uh, swing open. 